Welcome back everyone. So today's project, we are going to set up a Zoom meeting in a boardroom. Um, this actually is an old church that we have set up for a boardroom. And we've got board mics set up. These board mics are wireless microphones from Pile. They're not the greatest mics out there, but they work just fine. And I also have a couple of Audio Technicas set up. And what I'm doing this with is a Mackie uh, Pro FX version three. We actually had another one that was the six channel. This is the 10 channel. I got the 10 channel, so I would have a couple of extra mic channels. The board mic system, the pile one that we have, does eight inputs and I needed a couple more. So I'm using an Audio-Technica Pro uh, System 10 to give me a couple more mics. And those are plugged in the channels two and three. And then my eight channel I have plugged into channel one. So I can control all the stand mics with channel one and then channels two and three with those two separate wireless mics that we have going on. Now the tricky part you get to is setting this up on Zoom. So what you can do with these Pro FX series is they have a USB output that you can run into your laptop. And I also have, I'm using the CamLink USB converter going to my Panasonic camera here. So it's just HDMI out uh, with a view of the room. And that's coming into the HDMI to USB converter. So that's feeding into there. And then once you have that all connected up, you do install the Mackie drivers, which you can get right here under support, drivers, mixers. It is the Pro FX version three series. You download the USB drivers, comes in a zip file, and that opens up into this little setup program to run. Run that, it does it all on its own. And then you end up with your inputs showing up. So once you are in Zoom, let me go back to Zoom here, you now have extra inputs that you can use. The line in for the ProFX is just simply anything that's coming out of this at all. So it's going to be your master line coming out. So that's coming out here. And then if you select the ProFX uh, three to four speaker output that allows you to send anything from the zoom room into back into the mixer and then have that in your actual physical room. So if you have anybody that's remote and zoom speaking, um, they will come out of the laptop, go into this, and then you'll be able to hear them in the room. And zoom has its own built in feedback, anti-feedback. So you don't have to worry about that to make that work. You're going to use this input that says, line in 910 which translates to usb 34. so here on the laptop where it says speaker pro fx 34 that's actually connecting to this one here which is line in 910 and you have to have that down for usb 34 so it knows to use that rather than this little 3.5 millimeter input and then you can control your participants volume here um, in the Zoom room by turning this up or down here on 910. So you can set your, your regular mic volumes one through three here, and then your participants remotely would be adjusted with nine and 10 using this setup. I tested it out, it works very well. Um, anybody out in the Zoom room in the Zoom session can hear you through the line input microphone because that's where it's pulling from is actually this USB cable. And then anybody that's there in the Zoom room speaking will heard in your physical room, be heard in your physical room through the output ProFX 3.4 running through channel 910. And that is all you need to do to set that up. So you can give yourself uh, multiple mics in a large room like this in a large format. You'll have your camera set up. Uh, this overall setup is pretty reasonable. Um, the camera, I've got a nicer high-def camera that was um, probably $600 with the mount. 
And then these Pro FX series are actually pretty reasonable. You can get them on Sweetwater or B&H, or I think you can even find them on Amazon at a pretty reasonable price. Um, very good way to do it. The FX Pro FX 6 V3 does work, and I was using that for quite some time. But like I said, I wanted more mic inputs, and now I have the ability to do three separate um, mics plus my eight-channel board mic setup. Yeah.